Okay, last time we had uh, doubled the power on this, took it up to 90 pounds. After shooting it, uh, I thought that was a little too much. I didn't want to pull that hard on it, so I took uh, two bands back off. With eight bands on it, we had about 90 pound pull, and the feet per second had gone to 200 feet per second. So I took two off, so we should be right in the middle of where we were before. I'm ex if that comes out right, I'm a expecting about 175 feet per second. So we'll take a shot here and see if that confirms my suspicions on that. Okay, that gave us a speed of 170 feet per second. And it's easy to load. One of the things I had noticed when we went from 150 to 200 feet per second was the penetration didn't seem to be that much deeper. So I'm kind of thinking penetration is a better indicator of uh, the power you want rather than the feet per second. So that also, penetration would also include the weight of the arrow. Uh, so I, I didn't think of measuring the depth of penetration on the first test, but uh, and do that now. But I don't think this is actually that good of an example because I think it probably went in between the, the crack on the two hay bales. So we'll, we'll do some more with the other. Okay, so if you're testing your power, you probably want to check your depth of penetration. Although that particular shot, I don't think was a, a good example because I think it probably went in between the, the crack of the two hay bales. Because I got almost 24 inches of penetration on that. So now we'll go ahead and uh, look at the other gun. Okay, uh, last time Zero. I had thought about doubling the power on this one too, but since the other one was so hard to pull, I decided against it. So I only added one strip of rubber to it. So originally I had four and uh, I increased it to five. So that should have increased our force by 25%. So before I was getting 175 feet per second from this one. And uh, we'll shoot one across the chronograph and uh, see how much more it, it increased. And also the biggest change I made on this, you might want to come up and get a close look at this. I reworked the top plate where I mounted the scope so I could add a laser onto it. So I put one screw in through the top so it could pivot there and then I put one through the side. I cut the bottom block in half so it would separate. So when you loosen the one screw in front you can move it side to side or maybe even add washers hmm. by putting them in the crack right there. So that really speeds up uh, the course adjustments on uh, the scope. And by adding the laser on there, it, it becomes really easy to sight in. To sight it in, you just put the crosshairs of the scope right on the center of the target and then you fire your arrow after you the arrow hits and you put the crosshairs back on the on the scope back on the center of the target and just move the laser over to where you find the arrow now once you get the crosshairs and the laser on the bullseye and the arrow respectively then all you have to do is uh, just change your adjustments on the scope to where it brings the crosshairs right onto the laser and you're just dialed exactly right in so uh, 
I was really pleased with the accuracy on that. Uh, first we'll take one shot to uh, get the speed on the chronograph. Okay, we're going for a speed test. 25% increase on the rubber. Okay, so I'm averaging about uh, 16 to 17 inches of penetration on the target at uh, 170 pounds. Now, uh, so how much do we really need? The standard test to see if an arrow penetrates the skull is uh, to use a shoot it with a coconut, see if it'll go through a coconut. Well, I went to two different stores and I couldn't find a coconut, so the closest thing I could find was a pineapple. That feels uh, pretty hard. So we'll see if we can uh, put an arrow all the way through the pineapple. <laughs> okay, my, my belly does hit the laser when I'm loading it, so we may have to do some design work on that. Okay. I missed it. Yeah. That one missed. Take a big old hook. It went even more the other way. Yeah. Close. Close. I don't know. I think it did get a little bit. I think it went in. But didn't have any problem going through this side. Maybe it would have been different if it hit the center, but we still got right at 15 inches of penetration on that there. So I got to do a little more. Got to do a little more work on the accuracy. Accuracy seemed to be bouncing around today. I noticed my uh, belly was hitting the laser every time I loaded one up. Uh, that shouldn't really have affected anything, but we'll do some more work on it and uh, we'll be back in a couple days. See you later.